What is your first take on the Union Budget 2024? It's a very balancing budget basically. Finance Minister has announced and tossed nine priorities, priorities basically. And out of that, we are actually good developer, um, uh, leading developer uh, in power sector. So our interest of area is power, power, pharma and gas. So in relation to power, I can say uh, I, uh, we are hopeful for the, that the reduction of some GST would be more appropriate in the interest of the nation and uh, um, society as well as, uh, and uh, industry as well. So GST right now it is 18%. And at par with solar and uh, renewable, it should be 5% or to extend maximum 9 to 10%. If a composite structure of GST is being prevailed, then it would, it would save the cost and ultimately the end user will get benefit out of that. Well, the first take on the in union budget uh, is that it's a very balanced budget. The approach towards the ninth sector importance the, which the FM has uh, laid down will definitely ensure a lot of growth and development in the country. And it is up to corporates and individuals to utilize this as per their own uh, business stories, their growth stories and uh, uh, stay in the market in the years to come. So it looks to be a very populist budget. Uh, there's a lot of impetus and focus on infrastructure development, youth, women, uh, poor, farmer. So overall, I think uh, they wanted to give a message that this budget is for whole of India, where corporate India, common citizen, everybody can pass, participate in the success of India. I think the budget overall has certainly announced a plethora of benefits. It should certainly benefit uh, the middle class. A lot of employment uh, opportunities have been created. A lot of budget has been allocated for skilling, you know, workforce so that future there are employment opportunities. Uh, there have been, uh, you know, some benefits in terms of, uh, for the startups, of course, it's a welcome move. Uh, the exact, you know, the complete uh, removal of angel tax is certainly a welcome move for startups and the startup culture in this country will continue to get the boost which it has been giving in all these years. Well, thank you so much. Uh, I'm pretty happy with uh, the way the budget has been presented this way. And I'll be very specific uh, since I come from innovation background. So, uh, and of course, uh, very closely associated with tourism. Uh, since the government has decided to, you know, boast places like Nalanda, Bodh Gaya, and this is good news for tourism sector. Though I was, if you ask me personally, I, I was expecting much more in aviation as well as tourism sector. Uh, but I'm sure in the days to come, they will, they will pay more attention towards these two sectors. Um, uh, there are there are good news for middle class people as far as taxation is concerned. Um, overall and most importantly, I guess uh, the abolishment of uh, angel tax is one very good news because I also invest in uh, startups. So overall, I would say I'm 80% happy. Uh, I would have been 100% happy if there was some more uh, uh, attention towards uh, general aviation world that I belong to. Thank you. According to me, the budget was nice. Uh, not very short term gain and momentarily gain, but it is a long term path which was uh, laid down by the finance minister, particularly after the election. There was a lot of class, a lot of group of people were thinking that perhaps government are not very serious about them. Uh, it was uh, so there are a lot of addresses in different different schemes. Uh, states like uh, uh, Bihar and Andhra Pradesh, which was telling badly in, after the political change, have got significant amount of investment in that state. Uh, then uh, the the, uh, the the eastern states have also got a lot of advantage. Um, so it is a kind of overall, uh, you know, I mean, uh, there is no single recipe to make everybody happy. But then overall, according to me, this budget was nice. So there are some disappointment, of course, on the personal taxation side, but then um, the net deficit of 7,000 crores is uh, also a kind of hit because you have a lot of big plans for infrastructure and to grow unemployment, education, etc. Et so according to me, it's a fair deal. I think uh, post the uh, budget, we, there's a lot of uh, cloud which has been cleared by the Honorable Finance Minister. I think it's a very good budget which has impacted, which will be impacting on a longer term 
to uh, to the industry at large to the salaried employees at large and to the to the general public of uh, of the great indian nation uh, there are a lot of critical changes which has been brought in st to start with from the salaried employees where more than 4 crore employees have been uh, given the benefit of change in the standard deduction rate from 50000 to 75000 rupees the tax rates have been amended under the new tax regime so where uh, the the uh, the scheme has also offered the change in the rate from uh, for 3 to 7 lakhs uh, which will be 5% and 7 to 10 lakhs will be 10% so that is another welcome change which has been brought with by the finance minister and this will reduce the overall tax impact on the salaried employees by about 17500 uh, annually apart from that there are some very critical changes especially for the corporate taxation and i am saying this about uh, why because i i also led the delegation on behalf of sochm as the Inter international tax council co chairman before the revenue secretary and the cbdt chairman where we requested to um, to either streamline or to uh, to abolish the tds prosecution provisions uh, we are really thankful to them that they have uh, they have honorably accepted this uh, and there has been some changes which has been suggested or abolished the second change which we requested was for the um, for the uh, abolition of angel taxation because that has been a very contentious and litigative issue for a long time uh, this has also been abolished and again a very welcome move uh, capital gain structures Uh, were to be were were asking for a reformation because there were multiple timelines for multiple assets multiple rates um, uh, i'm sure this is going to be a be beneficial for the retail investors in the uh, financial asset and also uh, for the uh, non financial assets so overall i think it's a it's a very good budget a uh, welcome budget which has been curated by the entire ministry of finance uh, in addition the uh, vivaad se vishwas scheme uh, which has also been reintroduced for the 2024 so any kind of litigation which needs uh, which needs to be settled uh, that can be done through the vsvs scheme uh, additionally the assessment proceedings uh, which were which were uh, earlier uh very complicated and were time consuming through the cat appeal route that has as ensured and uh, committed by the finance ministry that more officers will be aligned in order to redress or conclude the uh, the appeal matters which have been outstanding for a long time so um uh, overall i think it's a great budget will impact the industry at large as well as the salaried employees so brings a smile to the uh, to the larger la a very large population uh, on an overall basis thank you see first of all this budget as the honorable fm started with her speech that this budget has been dedicated to uh, mahila garib yuva and annadata and through nine priorities they have tried to capture quite a landscape so my first response is it's a very balanced budget and uh, you know the budget try to address the the basic uh, one systematic error and which we say that there is a less consumption or half of the consumption in comparison to the growth of gdp and the budget has done lot of done to create a rural demand and and this they have addressed by two way one is that they try to address the the basic problem which we all agree that the youth employment and the another one is that a lot of a boost on agriculture sector so they try to enhance the farmers income the disposable income of the farmers employability of the youth which they also enhance it through skilling so this will in end of the day enhance the disposable income of the common man or the middle class family which end up boosting the rural demand and also disposable income available for spend on the housing etc which leads to the infrastructure development and creates demand for cement and steel and other sectors the first reaction is that this is a forward looking budget a very balanced budget i must say uh, of course there are some special incentives for couple of states like bihar and andhra pradesh to name a few but then overall uh, this is growth oriented budget in my view first reaction this is a very good budget let me tell you for the general public specifically youth msme and agriculture sector this budget is a uh, very good budget because agar in case i i call the youth 
यूथ बिकॉज इलेवन लैख इलेवन थाउजेंड करोड़ रुपीज है एक्सपेक्टेड टू बी स्पेंड स्पेंड एंड दिस विल सर्टनली इंक्रीज द स्कोप ऑफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट At the same time, as per well MSME is concerned, loan have loan amount have been increased from 10 lakh to 20 lakh rupees per MSME. So this will give give boost to MSME industry and overall economy also. For overall budget is very good. But one thing is there that for capital market, specifically for uh, stock market, this budget is very bad because. Capital gain tax have been increased from 15 short term capital gain tax have been from 15 to 20 thousand, and uh, long term capital gain tax has been increased from 10 10 to 12 percent. So this with this will certainly uh, give decline to market has already been declined. And secondly, STT has also been increased from 0.1 to 0.2 percent, which will be discouraging for the stock market. Well, first of all, you know, um, everybody looks at the budget in a different way, and nobody is ever happy. But for me, um, you know, the budget has delivered, uh, you know, on uh, you know the mass agriculture scale. It has delivered on um, you know the mass. You know, it's given employment. It's been on employment. Uh, something that I'm very, very positive about is Nari Shakti. That is something that the budget has focused on. Um, I think I would have liked the budget to be more focused on the automobile sector. It is a very, very big part of Indian economy. Um, there has been on the EV sector some support. Um, I think that overall, um, I think uh, the budget is balanced. I think it is something that requires uh, a little bit more emphasis on economic power. I think that at least for the masses, it is very positive. I would say this is a mixed budget. Like, har kisi ko kuch na kuch mila hai, but it's a industry friendly budget. I don't know whether you have noticed in her speech, she has used the industry word 21 times, which reflects the actually reading between the lines. You see the mindset. It's a like overall target. See, at the end of the day, you cannot please everyone. Some industry, some agriculture, some industry, some will be missed out, some will be taken out. So in a way, she is trying to balance it out. For example, let's take an example of direct taxes. Even though the STCG, the short-term capital gain of certain financial assets has increased, long-term capital gain has increased from 10 to 12.5 percent. On the same times, there has been some improvement has been done on the new tax regime in the slab rates. Standard deduction has increased. So I would call it in a simple words: "Sab ko kuch na kuch mila hai." The budget has been quite impressive. It has taken care of all the sectors of the economy. It's a balanced budget. Uh, equal opportunities have been given to all the uh, economic sectors, as well as it is a healthy budget for uh, the workforce of the country. There are uh, several new schemes which have been launched, which are directly relevant to employment generation. and uh, for betterment of the employees at large